Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karwa and in this video, I'm going to be giving you tips on how you can improve your IELTS band score and just get a 9 band score in a matter of few days. Now, I know that preparing for IELTS is a very, very stressful thing, especially when you're not so good at English and you want to quickly improve your English communication. In this video, we are going to look at the four sections of IELTS, namely listening, reading, writing and speaking. And I'm going to give you simple tips on each of these sections and how you can improve your band score in each of them. Now, there are some bonus tips waiting for you at the end of the video, wherein I'm going to talk about the common silly mistakes that students make on the day of the exam while they are solving MCQs, which actually lower down their score by one or at times by two bands. Sad, right? But worry not, I'm going to talk about those mistakes at the end of the video. I will also give you some simple hacks to avoid making such mistakes. So do watch this video till the end. If you are new to this channel, then please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that every Sunday, as soon as I upload a new video, you're the first one to know about it. So let us first begin by looking at the reading section. Now there are three passages that you have to complete in just 60 minutes. The blunder which most of the students in IELTS make is that they read the passage first, then move on to look at the questions. This wastes a lot of time. I will now tell you what you should actually be doing. So first you will quickly skim through the passage ekdam upar upar se, and then read the questions properly to understand what exactly is asked from you. Now, I will give you a very scientific reason behind this. Let's do an activity. Pause this video right now and look around you for 30 seconds. Now, look at the screen and answer this question. Name all the white things that you saw around you. Most of you will not be able to answer this question accurately. Now, let's do the same exercise in a different way. Before pausing the video, I'm telling you what you have to look for. You have to tell me all the red things that you see around you. Now, pause the video. Look for the red things and then start the video again. Difference, dekha kya? Because your brain had registered that it was supposed to look for red things. When you were looking around you, you only looked for red things and discarded all the other colors. This helped you to come up with the answer much more quickly. This is exactly what you have to do for the reading passages as well. If you know the question, if you know exactly what you are looking for in the passage, you will read the passage quickly, looking for the keyword which is asked in the question and quickly answer the question. Now, there are two more tips for the reading section. First, Please don't apply your own knowledge when you are answering the question. For example, we all know that sun rises from the east. But let's say the passage says that sun rises from the west and they give a lot of controversial details about this. We know it's wrong. Whatever is written in the passage is wrong. But that is what they have stated in the passage. Now, if they ask a question that from which side sun rises and you will say it rises from east and the passage says it rises from west this will make your answer incorrect because in the passage mein likha hai sun rises from the west this gives a hint to the examiner that you have not come to your passage your English is weak that's why you have given the wrong answer so passage solve your knowledge to keep your own knowledge room and then passage solve kariye. Another tip I like to give you is that whenever you're filling uh, the blanks, like there are questions, fill in the blanks kind of questions. Now, whenever you're attempting such questions, please check the passage for the spellings. Spellings recheck zarur kare. If your answer is right, but your spelling, the spelling that you have written in the filling the blanks is wrong, you won't get any marks. That would be extremely sad. Rather, you will be marked negatively for this. So, satark rahe, saavdhan rahe, spelling mistakes se. Spelling mistakes avoid kariye, bar bar passage mein jaake spellings check kariye. Friends, now let's talk about the speaking section. 
By the way, before we move ahead, if you are looking for IELTS, B Ed, UGC, NET, MA entrance, PhD entrance, PGT, TGT exam updates, then please follow us on Instagram and Facebook. You could find us on these social media platforms by using our username Arpita Karwa. We regularly post study tips, free study material on our Facebook and Insta pages. Moreover, every Wednesday we also share quick revision reels on these pages. Which will help you revise important topics in less than sixty seconds. So, चलिए अब बात करते हैं speaking section की. The most important tip that I would want to give you here is to speak slowly. Speak at a speed fifty percent lower than your normal speed. The speed at which we think is much lower than the speed at which we speak. And us Indians, we think in Hindi, then we translate the content in English and then speak. So in this process, if you go fast, you will be using a lot of filler words like mm, you know, definitely, basically, etc. So when you are speaking slowly, your mind will get enough time to think about the next line, form sentences better, and then proceed. So अपनी speed को काबू में रखें. Now a lot of students think that accents carry separate marks, so they start speaking an American accent. friends there is no special marks no extra marks for accent speak in a normal way with no accent neutralized way but ensure that your content should have coherence that is logical flow and your sentences should be structured correctly acha ek aur tip a lot of students what they do is they keep repeating the same lines again and again for example your topic is discipline you have to speak on discipline Now you have to speak on this topic for let's say three minutes. You can't say again and again that discipline is a good trait and you should apply it in your life. अब आप बोलेंगे कि मेरे पास ज़्यादा कुछ बोलने को ही नहीं है. मेरे को पता ही नहीं मैं और क्या बोलूँ. In such case, ensure that you use examples. Support your statement with numerous examples. Like you can talk about top leaders in the world who were disciplined, or you can talk about someone in your life you take inspiration from. and is very disciplined or a story from your own life on how you have struggled with discipline and how you are trying to build this good habit so is tarike se apne answer ko elaborate kare another important concern of students is that sometimes they get a topic which they have zero information or knowledge about for example you get to speak on a topic let's say colosseum in italy which is a monument basically it is one of the seven wonders of the world Now let's say you have no knowledge about it. Now, आपका भी इतनी गए ना आपको पता है कोलोजियम क्या है. In this case, there is a technique that I'm going to share with you, and it is called key E A, keyword explanation approach. Now, what is this? You know that कोलोजियम is in Italy, so you can speak one two lines about Italy. Then you know that Italy is in Europe, so you can speak two three lines about Europe. Then you know that कोलोजियम is a monument, so you can give one or two line about the how it is one of the most important heritage sites in the world whatever you can gather around the topic you gather it and speak about it chup chap mat khade rahiye basically you have to beat around the bush jab main topic nahi pata tha idhar udhar ki baatein karo lekin bolo they are not testing your knowledge they are testing your english so you should know that communication is more important than the information you are supplying to them friends You should also note that in the speaking section, the examiner will also pay attention to your vocabulary. I'll suggest you one thing, very simple: make a list of some good vocab words which you can fit in anywhere. Like plethora is a good word. Repercussion. Now, this type ki kuch bade bade achhe bhari English ke shabd ki list bana lo. You can make a list of idioms and phrases also, just like this. And when you practice speaking every day. try using some of these words from the list when you speak this way it will give an impression to the examiner that you have an enriched vocabulary aap apne list se hi stick raho zyada padho mat lekin us list mein 50 word hai to koshish karo har baar teen char shabd use kar lo friends the most important tip in the speaking section is practice give yourself two topics each day set a timer for about 2 3 minutes and speak on that topic record yourself when you speak we are often very conscious when we have to speak in front of an examiner to abhi se aadat daliye practice karte waqt 
स्पीक इन फ्रंट ऑफ कैमरा कैमरा चालू करिए एंड देन रिकॉर्ड योर सेल्फ एंड दिस कॉन्शियसनेस दैट यू विल फेस वेन यू स्पीक इन फ्रंट ऑफ कैमरा विल हेल्प यू टू नॉट फेस द सेम कॉन्शियसनेस ऑन द डे ऑफ द एग्जाम जब आप एग्जामिनर के सामने बोलेंगे practicing will give you that confidence remember that you will be evaluated on the basis of your fluency grammar pronunciation vocabulary and sentence structuring record a video when you speak send that video to a friend or a mentor take the feedback make a note of all these feedback and then work on your weak areas aage badhne se pehle if you found the information that i have shared so far in this video and you found that information helpful then please like this video by giving it a big fat thumbs up and also share it with other aspirants who are struggling with similar kind of questions let's talk about the listening section now the most important problem in the listening section is the accent समझ ही नहीं आता है आखिर बोल क्या रहे हैं लिसनिंग वाली टेप में स्टूडेंट्स ऑलवेज क्रिप दैट दे आर अनेबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द एक्सेंट सो फ्रेंड्स बिफोर अपियरिंग फॉर योर आइल्स एग्जाम यू नीड टू फमिलियराइज योर सेल्फ विद डिफरेंट एक्सेंट्स लाइक ऑस्ट्रेलियन अमेरिकन ब्रिटिश फॉर दैट आई वुड रेकमेंड यू अ कपल ऑफ थिंग्स फर्स्ट वन इन द लिस्ट इज लिसनिंग टू पॉडकास्ट माई पर्सनल फेवरेट पॉडकास्ट इज ऑन पर्पज बाय जे शेट्टी it's a motivational podcast and he invites different people from around the world so a lot of different accents get covered in every episode of on purpose so develop this habit of listening to podcast secondly you can listen to songs from different countries start with reading the lyrics along when you listen to the song and then once you learn the lyrics you can even sing along that will help you to understand ki wo pronunciation aakhir hai kya thirdly You can familiarize yourself with accents by watching vlogs or YouTube videos or even movies or I would say even web series. Remember that they should be in English. ऐसा नहीं है कि आपने Bollywood की web series देखनी चालू कर ली. And secondly, the things that you're watching should be of your interest. If you pick up history channel या geography channel and you have no interest about history या geography, you will lose interest. So pick anything that interests you otherwise you will not be able to sustain it for more than 2 3 days and we have to do it every day until your ielts exam happens aisa nahi ek din suna aur baki din to ghumne chale gaye by the way comment down below your favorite web series or movie that you recently saw to get acquainted with different accents i would really love to know and let's see if we have something in common Next step for the listening section is to do the same listening exercise prescribed in your IELTS preparation book at least 2 3 times. If today you did not understand the listening audio and you think ki yaar kuch samajh hi nahi aaya ab kya kare don't lose hope do it again tomorrow kal wapas se same audio suno aur fir samajhne ki koshish karo ki kuch samajh aaya kya and gradually you will see ki same listening tape ko agar sunoge you will understand the tape more with every passing day practice makes a man perfect and such is the case with even ielts exam another very important tip is to always write in capitals or caps lock when you're filling the answers if you don't make the first alphabet capital in your answer sheet then your marks will be deducted when you are answering filling the blanks wale questions So to avoid any error develop the habit of writing the entire word in capital letters also friends you have to be extremely attentive throughout the listening section if you get distracted you will lose track and miss out on two three questions so be super duper 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 attentive let's now talk about the writing section friends whenever you write your essay please evaluate it I know comparison is not a good practice in general. We should not compare ourselves with others. But when it comes to IELTS preparation, I would ask you to compare your essays with those of the toppers to understand how they have used words, they have structured their sentences. Like I asked you in speaking that uh, when you are speaking, make a list of good words. Similarly, in the writing section also. develop this habit of making a list of good words idioms phrases adjectives which you can use in your essays and try using words from that list every time you're writing a sample essay 
you don't have to use flowery language while writing answers you have to write in simple words but if you use some good word here and there it will definitely increase your band score next up friends please please don't repeat the same thing again and again while writing if you keep on writing the same thing again and again it won't fetch you good marks elaborate your answer with the help of example try not to repeat the same words rather try to use synonyms also please use proper punctuation use full stop comma exclamation mark question marks when never necessary don't skip them in ke bhi marks hain a lot of students write in long paragraphs chodo ye habit break your content into 3 4 paragraphs write an introduction paragraph then two three short paragraphs and then a separate concluding paragraph the last tip for the writing section is to adhere to the word limit if the word limit is 120 words the max you can exceed it is 130 140 words that's it not more than that writing more won't get you more marks ielts rules are like traffic rules if you follow them it means that you're a good citizen you're a good student stick to the word limit traffic rule ko yaad rakho 120 word matlab 120 word zyada mat likho friends now as promised let's move on to the bonus tips on how to solve the mcqs the first bonus tip that i would want to talk about is elimination it is one of my favorite tips as i derive it from the fictional character of sherlock holmes created by sir arthur conan doyle in the 19th century So Doyle in his work The Case Book of Sherlock Holmes says a very famous line and I quote When you have eliminated all which is possible whatever remains however improbable must be the truth You can apply these words to the four options and get the right answer After you have eliminated the wrong options the one which remains shall be the correct one Hence whenever you are confused between the options use the elimination technique to solve the question rather than being under confident and taking a shot in the dark the elimination technique will come handy as a smart guesswork and make your answers more probable the next important tip is to never get attached to a question sometimes you get a difficult question and we keep on spending time on it courage aur hai courage aur hai we spend more than 10 minutes on it and are unable to complete the entire paper assume you did this mistake Now because of spending so much time on that one difficult question you could not finish the last 10 questions which were very very easy all those 10 questions were very easy now you feel sad ki are yaar wo 10 question solve kar leta kitne sare marks aa jate that's why please note that all the questions should be equally important to you sabko saman bhav se dekhe you should know in your mind the time you have to solve each question and if you are unable to solve that question in that particular time move on you cannot keep sticking to one question aage badho the next important tip is to read the instructions very 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 carefully friends sometimes a question ask you to answer in number or word in this case let's assume that the answer is 4 now aap chahe to aap numeric 4 bhi likh sakte hai ya fir aap f o u r bhi likh sakte hai whichever way you write it your answer is correct but suppose you missed out on the instruction and if in the instruction it was mentioned that the question specifically has to be answered only in number and now without reading the instruction if you write f o u r instead of numeric 4 you won't get any marks so this is the reason why i keep on saying that read the instructions carefully So this is it. I hope you like the tips that I have given in the four sections as well as the three bonus tips. I hope you secure a band 9 score in the IELTS exam. I'm quite eager to know how you felt about this video. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you find it helpful? Please share your views in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions, any doubts or if you want me to make any other video on any other topic, feel free to put that in the comment section as well. So with that note I would like to take your leave that's it from my side for this video lecture I'll meet you very very soon in the next video lecture till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com